Fauzia Khan. The names. Thank you, Honorable Chairman, sir. Sir, I wish to reiterate the fact that the most visible indicator of the development of any nation is through the quality of its roads, sir. The government bolsters the vision that road safety is made an integral part of road design at its planning stage. Sir, yet the data, recent data released by the Ministry of Road and Transport Highways, MORTH, states the fact that more than 4,000 and more than 3,000 accidents have occurred in the year 2019 and 2020 respectively due to potholes. Sir, according to a research by the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and Pacific, road accidents have cost India about three of its gross domestic product per year or about 58,000 million US dollars in absolute terms. Since pothole deaths con constitute an int integral part of these road accidents, there is a recurring need to strengthen the Motor Vehicles Act further to hold the contractors and the officials liable under the reasons for negligence, sir. Sir, despite the safety standards set, set up by the central government and road contractors and engineers are still not held criminally answerable for causing deaths and injuries, which organizations like uh, Save the Life Foundation are demanding, sir. Especially when accidents occur because there are no proper signs or barricades that should be placed as caution, sir. Moth specifications are not followed by the contractors. Visits are not made by the officials as per the rules. Bad quality construction results in bad quality roads, which results ultimately in accidents, sir. Hence, I urge Moth that apart from formulating a multi-pronged strategy to address the issue of road safety based on education, engineering, enforcement and emergency care, the penalties and punishments on the responsible party should be implemented to improve the situations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Bajaji. Uh, Sri Sujit Kumar. Uh, 